How's it going guys? Today I want to do a cool video on an awesome fish that I've been getting a lot of questions about and that is the Bakur. This one here is about almost a foot long and there is two of them in here and there are different species of these fish and yes uh, I am aware you can call them a Bakur, Bakur, uh, there's there's like five or six different ways to pronounce it. I'm gonna call it Bakur because that's what I hear a lot of people uh, pronounce it as correct me if you want in the comments uh, yeah let's uh, let's take a look at mine here he's about a foot long and I'll flip the camera here in a second but these literally are awesome fish and they're considered like prehistoric they literally call this one the dinosaur bicker at PetSmart and I think that's why they're becoming so popular is because PetSmart has been running these in stock for quite some time now even though these fish get pretty massive and I'm not sure I agree with PetSmart selling these fish but I do agree with PetSmart getting a lot of new fish and kind of broadening their horizons. I saw they also started carrying red devils now which is pretty cool but uh, I'm not going to get on a sign tangent here. Anyways, taking care of these fish, um, it is preferred that they have a sand substrate. I do have them with gravel. Um, I honestly, um, I don't have any sand tanks. I hate sand tanks, but these fish would do better in gravel because uh, their origins are from like murky, sandy, dirty waters of Africa, slow moving waters. And they're really used to being, they're used to hiding and kind of just standing still and waiting for their prey to come to them. As you will notice, they are, they have super poor vision and uh, they're not the most uh, ravenous feeders. They're really opportunistic and wait for something to be right in front of them. I'm gonna feed them here uh, I'll switch the camera and throw some sinking pellets because uh, that also needs to be said that these fish, I've learned that the things need to be on the bottom for them to be able to eat them because they use their nose or their scent, sort of say, to kind of find the food. And they are nocturnal mostly, so if you can throw in the food before your lights go off, that would be the most ideal. Um, I don't do it, I'll admit to it, and I know a lot of you guys don't do it with other nocturnal fish because I have read through the comments and people just don't get around to it. You know, it's easier to just feed all the fish at once and just let it go. But anyways, actually you can see him right now, he's actually got a piece of food in his mouth. But yeah, I always get a ton of comments on how cool these fish look and they kind of look scary. My wife commented, you know, oh, that thing looks like it's going to jump out of the tank and swim on the floor like, ah, oh, we just missed him eating. Maybe you guys saw it. But yeah, there is some pellets here, and he didn't know where it was, but he could smell it, sort of say. These fish are just crazy awesome. Okay, I keep getting distracted. Anyways, poor vision, tropical temperatures. They're really hardy for as far as water parameters because they can actually breathe air from the surface. I have literally um, adopted these fish that were living in a bucket of just like, it looked like mud. I could not believe it. To this day, uh, I adopted this Bakur years ago and I can't, can't even describe the water it was in, but it was, it still did fine and the fish, uh, I sold it, but just these fish there he goes again and uh, I find that these fish get startled very easily you know maybe if I walk in my fish room here or walk by the tank they'll kind of blast around everywhere and as you can see they get fairly large, so you're not gonna wanna put these in like a little 40 gallon breeder. Uh, maybe if you had a smaller one and you were starting them in a smaller tank and you were gonna up the size later in date. A lot of people do that. A lot of people say they're gonna do it and they don't. God, what happened to my lighting? 
Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera and give you guys a better view of what these guys look like. Um, that's some previous food that I fed the fish. I'm gonna throw some other food in there and flip the cam here. All right, so I just threw some sinking shrimp pellets in here and they aren't, as you can see here, their vision isn't the best, like I said before, so it's gonna take a little time for them to kinda get the scent of things. So um, while we wait, um, there are a couple different species of burkers. Uh The most common ones in the aquarium industry are the ornate burkur and the banded burkur, which is th which is what this is. Also, uh, also referenced as like the dinosaur burkur. So, oh, there he goes. He's got the scent of it. And this one's a little smaller than the other one, as you can see. As far as what the best foods are for these guys, I would honestly stick to like um, a super heavy protein based diet because in their natural habitat, they eat a lot of like fish and insects and crustaceans and so forth. And all that stuff is pretty heavy in protein. So what I like to do is actually um, buy some like um, tilapia, fresh tilapia, I'll cut it up and it sinks and these guys absolutely adore that. I'll also throw in some uh, feeders here and there even though they're not the best at catching them, they do eventually catch them. It's mostly at night I've learned because they kind of sneak around at night and then they strike when the fish are sleeping. So very opportunistic hunters like I said before looks like the big one here is on the scent so the terrible vision does kind of uh play hand in hand with how um stressed out they get once in a while you know because if the contrast and like lighting changes really fast i notice that's when they kind of stress out and kind of swim around frantically All right, so let's sum this up. Um, these fish are very easy to take care of. The water parameters can be pretty much wide open as long as it's stable. Um, they eat heavy protein things. Uh, just keep them well fed. Make sure they're getting food. If you have them with other fish, you will you might battle this because the other fish commonly are going to eat everything before they do because they have terrible vision if this is happening throw in some food at night and make sure it's sinking if possible because they spend most of their time at night or at the bottom i should say sorry and hiding spots are going to be huge for these guys so make sure you have dark spots places for them to hide and the best substrate is going to be sand. Gravel will work, but sand is ideal. Super easy fish to care for. Uh, they do grow fairly large. The different species can grow all the way up to 24 inches, so plan ahead as far as getting a tank and uh, nothing smaller than a 55 to start. Uh, yeah, hit up the comment section. If you guys have any questions, let me know what you guys are keeping.